I think coming to the spa is a necessity or going to any wellness sort of center is it's necessary especially as women of color or people of color we tend to always be on the giving side we give we give we give and we never replenish and it's not a matter of just oh i'm going to have a facial i'm going to do my nails to, to look good no it's body mind and spirit when people walk out of synergy spa i want them to feel the three r's refreshed, rejuvenated, renewed. My name is Marsha Ann Boyer. I'm the owner of Synergy Spa in Brooklyn. Actually, I'm the second owner. The founder was Cynthia Grace. She founded the first Synergy, the original Synergy in Harlem. That was back in, I think, 2000, early 2000s or maybe even 1999, somewhere around there. But Synergy in Brooklyn opened the Valentine's Day 2002. And I was actually here for the opening. And it was around the end of, to come into the end of 2005, she said to me, she said, Marshan, um, you wanna buy Synergy? I was like, buy who? She is like, buy Synergy. And I'm like, well, um, she says, you know, it's a lot for, because she was actually a professor at the university. It was a lot for her. And I basically used to do most of the services. So I said, okay, let's work something out, which we did. And in the end of 2000, December 2005 is when I took Synergy over. We offer massages, facials, different types of facials scrubs, body wraps, we do hand and foot treatments. We don't do the traditional mani-pedi, no polishing, you know, that type of thing. So it's more on a holistic bend. Today, Judge is going to be getting a hydrating facial. So I'm going to start with cleansing, okay? This is a pumpkin cleanser that I'm using. It has a bit of lactic acid in there that helps to break down the dead skin cells. I think I've always been passionate about the wellness industry. I remember as a child always wanting to mix potions and I'm from the Caribbean so I was always wanting to do scrubs for something some reason I wanted always wanted to do scrubs. I was always inventing a scrub to make my hands softer or make my feet softer. I'd take my mother's brown sugar, passion fruit seeds and papaya seeds and just mix everything up and just scrub away and so I think I've always had a love for skin and for wellness. I think my biggest hurdle was finding the right team because in this industry, in the spa industry, at least in Synergy Spa, we work with energies. So you always want to have a team where everyone can work together. I think that was the biggest challenge. But right now, I'm at a good place. We're, everybody's, it's, it's cohesive. So we really have a great team. As far as funding went, things were tight. But if you're an entrepreneur, I go by the, it's like a little mnemonic device that I have, pride, okay, full of pride, which for me is passion, P, passion, R, you have to be resourceful, I, innovative, D, discipline. Discipline is very, very important. And E, enduring, you gotta stick to the very end. I think it's important for us as people of color to provide these services because I want to say culturally we tend to think okay we know about our own skin we understand our own bodies which in a sense it is true you would have the thought that okay you know you cut us and same blood same everything but we do have differences in skin and we tend to have different issues, hyperpigmentation, we don't wrinkle as quickly, but you know, we do have issues and it's important to have your own looking after you. I mean, when, you, when you're trained, you're trained on every type of skin, but I think people of color feel more comfortable having someone similar to them looking after them. Someone who wants to start out in the wellness industry, I always say, know your craft you can't open a business if you have to be hiring people 
to do everything and you know nothing about it. People pull the wool over your eyes. So you have to know from, the, from scratch, from the ground up, you have to know your business. Yes, you have to trust people, but on the other hand, you have to know what it is you want, where you're going to with your journey and training, 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 always. I mean, education, education is a must. Learning, learning never stops. It never stops.